Well, the Irish Times has published a story about how MEPs Claire Daly and Mick Wallace have become stars of international state media in Russia and China. The story was written by the paper's Europe correspondent Naomi O'Leary, who also tried to get the MEPs to comment on it at the European Parliament. Do you have any comment, please? Any comment for the Irish Times, please? A short time ago, I spoke to Naomi O'Leary, who wrote the story, and I began by asking her to tell me about the two MEPs' position in the European Parliament when it came to NATO and to the war in Ukraine. Um, so, uh, Claire Daly and Mick Wallace were among 13 MEPs in the European Parliament who voted against a key resolution that was brought in the wake of the invasion, uh, which was to condemn the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Um, and they were among the 13 to reject it, they said, because um, partly because of their position on NATO. Um, Mick Wallace has said that he wants it to be abolished. And there was a reference in the text to the role of NATO in European security um, and also um, the importance of giving uh, Ukraine arms, uh, give the, the Ukrainian ar uh, army arms uh, to fight the Russian invasion. Um, so this, ha this uh, is among a number of other actions that have marked them out as in the minority in the European Parliament in a way that I think is gaining quite a lot of attention and is perhaps coming to characterise, but people are, are asking whether this characterises the broader Irish position as well, because they're perhaps the most visible Irish MEPs at this point. So for your research for the Irish Times, you looked at Mick Wallace and Claire Daly and how their views and their opinions and their statements to the European Parliament are being represented by other media organisations in other countries, including Russia and China. And what did you discover? And so um, over a period of roughly 10 months, I monitored media, media coverage of the two MEPs in the Chinese, Russian and Arabic language media. Um, because I noticed that they were getting a disproportionate amount of coverage for MEPs. It's not really typical for MEPs to get so much coverage in places like China, particularly from a small country like Ireland. Um, and they keep going viral there. So, so much as a tweet or a particular speech in the European Parliament often does go viral in, in China, particularly since the invasion. And that um, seems to be because what they say in the European Parliament um, very much chimes with the arguments of the Chinese state. So things that suit the Chinese state in terms of criticism of sanctions, focusing on um, what they say is Western hypocrisy in the response to the invasion, um, focusing on uh, criticizing NATO, criticizing Washington, uh, painting the US as the overweening global military power and imperialistic power. And I suppose uh, diverting away from criticism of Russia um, in its invasion. Does it concern you that their views are being represented on Russian TV, on Chinese TV, as perhaps the views of the Irish people or the Irish government? I think it is concerning, but I don't blame them for that per se. Now, I want to say at the outset, I don't agree with any of their politics, both Claire Daly and Mick Wallace. And I do remember Claire, she was actually a union representative in Dublin Airport at one stage, at the very early stage, as far as I remember. But you've got to think, these, they have been logically consistent for years, the pair of them, um, in their thoughts and their views. Um, I think sometimes they do get misrepresented. Um, in relation to what they want and what their goals are, I think their goals are the same as everybody else. I think they want peace. And look, they've said that many times, and you know, they were the first ones down at Shannon Airport, you know, taking a hammer to a plane or whatever it happened to be at the time. So I think their goal is peace, and Irish neutrality has always been the backbone of what they believe in. Um, I think they've just gone about it the wrong way. Um, I think as European MEPs, they have a responsibility. Um, and currently at the moment, look, nobody has an answer. But the last thing we want, I think what they're looking to see is they don't want to see a war, a proxy war, which is what we've seen in Afghanistan. So by funding a war, they believe that war encourages war. But do you and, think I think, they can... I, and I don't necessarily agree with their politics. I don't agree with any of their politics. But I think that's the, the argument they're going, but they've just gone too far. Michael. The contradiction, Kira, in, in what Mick Wallace and Claire Daly are saying, I think was summed up in an editorial in the Irish Times today. And it, I just quote a paragraph. It says, MEPs Mick Wallace and Claire Daly continue to play both sides condemning the invasion, but denouncing sanctions and developing celebrity status in Russian state-controlled media for their criticism of Western actions, all the while shamelessly attacking anyone who points this out. 
Do you think, though, that they can be held responsible for how you know, Russian TV and Chinese TV portrays their position? I think they can. Is that no, their responsibility? It, 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 they're not naive, you know. Ni ni neither is, you know, they're experienced politicians. McWallace was elected in Wexford as an independent with a massive vote. Uh, in fact, he announced he was contesting the 2011 election in the predecessor to this programme, the Vincent Brown programme. He had a profile for media uh, appearances in that uh, his business, his uh, construction business had failed in the crash. Uh, so they're not naive. Uh, it, if they were naive, which they're not, it could be argued they're being manipulated, but they're not naive.